Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you all will be fine and going well. <clears throat> I'm back after a long time and today we are going to discuss the electronic instrument system which is used in aircraft and especially in cockpits. So let's start the video. Be strong. Be strong. So this is how we are going to start it. We will discuss it <clears throat> uh, in step by step. First of all, we will take our start from aircraft instruments. After that, we are going to discuss typical system arrangements. After that, we are going to discuss the cockpit layout. Cockpit layout, which is composed of EFIs, ECAS, and ECAM. So let's start. Now we will take our start from aircraft instruments basically these instruments are for measuring different types of things like speed air navigation etc for safe economic <clears throat> for safe economic and reliable flight operation it is dependent upon accurate and reliable instruments and these aircraft instruments are further divided in six parts and six me or we can also say in six different meters that is airspeed indicator, altitude indicator, altimeter, turn coordinator, turn coordinator, directional coordinate, di directional gyro, vertical speed indicator. Only one instrument panel is needed in a small aircraft fitted with basic instruments. Panels are non-magnetic and normally have a matte finish to reduce glare and reflection. In larger and more complex aircraft, additional panels are required where more than two panels are fitted the forward panel in front of the air crew is normally referred to as the main instrument panel to distinguish is it from the additional panels located overhead and alongside alongside the aircraft compartment <clears throat> on some aircraft these instruments are divided into two halves and referred as pilot and co-pilot panels <clears throat> uh, if we will look at the early stages so on early aircrafts the only way of monitoring of all the aircraft system was to have an instrument for each item and an associate flight engineer instrument panel and they carry then associate flight engineer there are many different electronic instruments installed on an aircraft <clears throat> they are EFIS, Electronic Flight Instrument System, ECAS, Ele Engine Indicating and Crew Alerting System, ECAM, Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring. Basically, these all are different from each other. The ECAS and ECAM system are not used jointly on any of the aircraft. <clears throat> there are two aircraft manufacturers. Boeing and Airbus. The Boeing use the ECAS, ECAS electronic system <clears throat> and the Airbus uses the ECAM electronic system. As we know about the clashes of both the manufacturers so that's why they both are using the different electronic systems and these are used for displaying the results on their CRT, CRTs, cathode ray tubes instead of traditional instruments. So we can call it a little bit advanced technology. Nowadays, we, nowadays they are using LCDs and LEDs but mm, mm, this is the basics which are we discussing. <clears throat> uh, now we will discuss EFIs. EFIS electronic flight instrument system is a flight deck instrument display system in which the technology used is electronic rather than electromechanical. As in the case of conventional flight instrument systems, a complete EFIS installed is made of a left captain and a right first officer system. Each system compromises an electronic altitude direction indicator and Number second, electronic horizontal situation indicator. Third, display control panel. And fourth, symbol generator. 
the uh, their short forms are e a d i and e h s i <coughs> the uh, and and they can be positioned side by side or vertically top to top and bottom normally the e a d i s is positioned on top or on the one side position e case engine indicating and crew alerting system the basic system comprises of two display units a control panel and the two computers supplied with analog and digital signals from engine and system sensors operating in conjunction with the engines in, <clears throat> in conjunction with the engine indicators and a remotely located panel for selecting maintenance data displays the system provides the flight crew with information on primary engine parameter full time and with secondary engine parameters and warnings cautions advisory alert messages as when required and their display units these units provides a wide variety of information relevant to engine operation and operation of other automated system and they utilize color shadow mask crts and associated card modules and associated card modules the display are selected according to an appropriate an appropriate display selection mode in the normal mode in flight only the primary engine parameters are displayed the lower display unit screen remaining blank warning caution and advisory messages are displayed in red and yellow on the left hand side of the upper display unit screen as condition dictate abnormal secondary engine <clears throat> abnormal secondary engine parameters are automatically displayed on the lower display unit during the normal mode of operation all secondary engine parameters played on the blank lower display unit by pressing an eng button select switch on the e case control panel a second switch status status is provided on the control panel and when pressed it switches the lower display into a mode that displays the status of several systems for example flight control surface position and also up to 16 status messages requiring flight crew awareness prior to take off and in flight they are used in both the cases sometimes in take off and sometimes in flight crew uh, cruise con cruise uh, sorry cruise <coughs> in order to ensure that all the engine parameters can be displayed in the event that one display unit fails the other unit can be operated in a compacted mode mm, this is basically called as the backup mode when we have a backup and in aircrafts we have generally more and more backups for a safe and appropriate and reliable flight in the event that multi that multiple failure leave both display units and both computer in operable in operable backup display by discrete caution and warning lights and by standby engine indicators are provided these indicators utilized leds to supply epr n1 n3 and egt information there it is very necessary on an aircraft to have a backup because an aircraft is used for a cargo safety for people safety for for animal safety and this service of training this service of traveling is also very famous because of its safety ratio as compared to other ser other services of traveling that's why the aircraft cockpits almost have two to three backups in uh, in case if in case if its original if its original system uh, is not working then it used the second backup and if the second backup is not working then it used the third backup that's why these flights are so safe now it's the last one we will be discussing which is ecam electronic centralized aircraft monitoring the ecam system comprises the units shown as far as display format is concerned it differs significantly from ecas in that it is that it excludes analog presentation of engine parameters and it adopts the principle of monitoring display unit side by side so that the left hand unit is de dedicated to information on the system status warning and corrective action in a sequent checklist format 
while the right hand unit is dedicated to associated information in diagrammatic format. There are four display modes, three of which are automatically selected and referred to as a flight phase, related advisors, advisory modes are some uh, advisory mode and status, and failure related modes. The fourth mode is manual and permits the selection of a diagram related to any one of 12 of the aircraft systems for routine checking and also the selection of status messages provided no warnings have been triggered for display. These selections are made by means of illuminated push button switches on which ECAM control panel. In normal operation, the automatic flights phase related mode is used. In this case, the display are appropriated to the current phase of aircraft operation that is pre-flight, takeoff, climb, cruise, descent, approach and after landing. An example of pre-flight phase is shown. The left hand display unit displays an advisory MIMO mode and the right hand unit displays a diagram of the aircraft fuselage, doors and arming of the escape slides diploma deployment systems hope you guys enjoyed my video very well and inshallah we'll see you all next time as soon as possible uh, just let me know do you guys like my videos 